Okay. Hi, everybody. Welcome to another live stream with Lar from Complete Test Success here. So uh, today we're looking at IELTS Writing Task 2. And the goal here today is for me to show you a question, get you to write the various parts of the essay and give you feedback. So pretty much the whole hour is going to be me telling students what they're doing wrong. So the idea is, you know, you obviously, if you're making a mistake, you don't know about it. You don't realize you're making a mistake. So by, by me telling you what mistakes you're making, be it with vocab or grammar, be it with the content or the organization or, you know, whatever it is, I can show you what your mistakes are. And once you know what your mistakes are, you can work on improving them. And that will help you to improve your scores. Uh, today's question, um, I put a post in my... I put up a post asking for someone, if anyone had a question, I had a Hacknaz shared the question with me. So um, thank you for that, Hacknaz. And we will be looking at your question today and just basically writing the essay together. Um, hi, Lewis. Good to see you here again. Okay. So as always, with every task to question, we need to begin by writing the paraphrase. So let me show you the question here now. OK, so this is the question here today. Some people believe that studying at university or college is the best way to achieve a successful career, while others believe that it is better to get a job straight after school. Discuss both views and give your own opinion. Now, the paraphrase is based on this part, the, the first sentence in the question. So what we want to do is we want to take that and we want to rewrite it in our own words. So that's what I'd like you all to do first. I want you to rewrite that share your paraphrase with me in the comments and i'll give you feedback if there are any things that you're doing incorrectly or any mistakes you're making i will take a look and i'll explain to you what you can do to improve um and then what we'll do is i'll take one of the students paraphrases i'll add that to the screen and we'll move on to the next part of the essay so that's the plan we'll work together to write the essay on the screen and i'll point out any mistakes that you guys are making Okay, so that's it for now. I'll just stay quiet, let you write the paraphrase, share it with me in the comments, and then I'll have feedback for you. Vince Schillent. Hi, Vince. Good to see you here again. Mujadid, hi to you. Good to see you here. XIX, some think that attending two universities or colleges. So attending two isn't the same thing as attending. 
attending to is like you know caring for it's a little bit different so attending universities or colleges paves a way to successful jobs um but we're saying the best way so it does pave our way but does it pay the be pave the best way um so that needs to be clear we're specifically saying we're not saying that starting a job straight after school isn't possible a possible way what we're saying is that it's the best way so that's what we want to talk about is it the best way or is it not the best way so definitely it's very important that we include that piece of information in the paraphrase whereas others hold that getting a job right after school is a better choice okay perfect so everything except just attending to is the wrong vocab and we need to include the best vince while some argue that studying at university is the driving force behind a successful career, um, again, the driving force. So we're not saying that it's the only way. We're saying that it's the best way. So th that needs to be clearer. Um, others are convinced, so you need the auxiliary verb, are convinced that starting work immediately after school is the wiser option. Here I will consider. Okay, so... Let me take XIXs here. So that's from YouTube. Okay, so I'm gonna add this. Um, I'm gonna add this here. Something that attending university. So when we say attending universities, it sounds like you know some one person going to multiple universities, but it's just about going to university. So I know it's multiple people going to multiple universities, but we're not talking about each person going to multiple universities. So just attending universities is, is enough. Uh, attending university or college, uh, and I'm just going to change this, is the best way to achieving so it's not necessarily successful. It's not that your job is successful. It's that the career is successful. Whereas others hold that getting a job right after school is a better is a better option. Okay. Now, here we're in a situation where I've changed some of the vocab back. Uh, I've changed some of the vocab back to the the original. So is the best way so now we have what university or college is the best way to achieve a successful career university or college is the best way to achieve a successful career so one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve so that's 12 words that's 12 words that i've copied directly from the question that's not very good paraphrasing um you know when we're paraphrasing the question we want to do a better job than that um, but the thing is, if I'm changing it and it's incorrect, that's not better. If I'm changing it and I'm changing the meaning, that's not better. If I'm changing it and it's unclear, that's not better than copying it. So, and I know like if you've been following me for a while, you've heard me say this many, many times, but you know, you have to think of it as three options. There's copying is in the middle. Changing is better, but changing it and being unclear or changing it and being inaccurate is worse than copying. So you have to do the best with what do the best with what you have. If you can change it, um, it's better. But if you can't, copying is in some cases the only option that we have. Uh, okay, so we could say something like third level education is the most. most uh is the so what are we trying to trace the best way the most likely way to achieve success in one's future career so again if we can change it that's better but not better than changing it and being inaccurate or unclear. Okay, so there's our paraphrase written. Now for this question type, discuss both views and give your own opinion. What we want to do is we want to have three ideas. So we're gonna have this, we're gonna have uh, the 
former prefer further studies because and then we need an idea why did they think that while the latter think getting a job immediately uh, is better because B. I personally believe that X is better because C. Okay, so what we need now is we need our, our main ideas. What, what ideas are we going to use in our answer? So why do the first people believe what they believe? Why do the second people, the second group of people believe what they believe? And then why do I believe what I believe? So that's what we need next. We need to we need to we need to decide what ideas we're going to use, um, what ideas we're going to use in our essay to support the views and our opinion. Okay, so that is my next task for all of you. There, tell me what main ideas can we use. So think of the main ideas, share it with me in the comments, and then I'll add it to the document. I'll add it to the essay on screen, and we'll continue from there. So that's the next task. OK, so Vince, I believe the university degree is the best way a person wants a successful career. Yep. So uh, you can do that. You can you can write your essay without putting your main ideas in the introduction. I prefer to put them in because it's going to make it uh, more cohesive between each paragraph and help with our coherence and cohesion score. Lewis, it is argued that it is better to pursue university or college studies to be successful professionally, but other now, what you're missing here is it's argued by some, because we're going to have two groups of people. So what we're trying to say is some people think that, everyone else thinks that, or some people think that, and other people think that. So some and other is important for this question type. So what you're going to say is, at the start of your essay, at the start of your paraphrase, it is argued that, and then you continue. So it is argued, sorry, it is argued by some that. So that's the bit you're missing by some. It is argued by some that it is better to pursue university or college studies to be successful professionally, but other people, so now we have some versus other, think that being employed right after school is best. Um, not necessarily being employed, but finding employment. Finding employment right after school is best. Okay, good. Hi, Dimitri. There are, so you need the spelling there, there, T-H-E-R-E. -E. There are people who claim that there is no better possibility to be successful in one's career than by receiving a higher educational degree, while others disagree because... Okay, so we don't have the rest of that yet. Oh, sorry, Dimitri. So yeah, that what you've written so far is fine. Um, but... With because we don't want the explanation, we just want to know what they what they believe. So just say what the opinion is first. Don't don't include the reason why uh, yet. Sakawat, hi to you. So first of all, you need a capital letter for many, so it should start with a big M. Uh, many people argue that the best process to acquire a successful career, and then we need is by studying an academic degree. Well, you wouldn't study a degree, you would acquire an academic degree or acquire by acquiring a degree. So that's just a collocation mistake. Whereas others feel that it is better to assess, no, to find a job straight after school. So just some vocab mistakes um, and then the punctuation error. But overall, uh, that is a good paraphrase. Many people argue that the best process to acquire... Okay, so we looked at that already. Hafiza, the former prefer studies because it can provide valuable knowledge and specialized skills. Okay, now that's two things, knowledge and skills. Now, you might say they acquire both of those things, but then when we're developing our essay, do we need to, do we need to discuss both of those things? So when I'm writing my essay, I'm going to have one paragraph about this, this group of people. So they're going to have valuable knowledge and specialized skills. Do I have to explain both of them together? 
is it two different ideas or is it the same thing? So if I just say valuable knowledge, is that enough? Or if I just say specialized skills, is that enough? Do I have to say both of them? Will it be easier if I just say one of them? So in general, what I would say is keep it as simple as possible. And if you ever see the word and in the middle of your idea, are you sure it's one idea or is it two ideas? If it's only one idea, well, are we repeating ourselves? Either way, whether you're repeating yourself or whether it's two ideas, we can make things less complicated. We can make things easier for ourselves. So I would say just choose one. They can provide valuable knowledge. Okay. So let me add that to our essay. So the former prefer studies, prefer further studies because they can acquire valuable knowledge. Perfect. And okay, let's have a look at the next one. Hi, Mandeep. Good to see you here. Vince, former studying gives experience and professional knowledge. Good. So experience. But experience of studying, it wouldn't really be experience of the job. Like normally experience comes from doing the job, experience on the job. So what we would say, normally what we would say is people who studied at university, when they finish, they have no experience. They've ex they have the knowledge. They have the knowledge. They've done all, they have all the information, but they don't have the experience of doing the thing that they need to do. So very often we would say the opposite, to be honest, is that they don't have experience, uh, but they have professional knowledge. So that's the idea we had. Um, Latter, it is not necessary to learn for several years as skills can be earned through working. So we can learn the skills through working. Um, but why would that mean? Why would that mean that it's better to? It is not necessary to learn for several years as skills can be earned through working. So you can get knowledge at university. But can you get skills? Are we trying to say that you get the knowledge, but you won't get the skills? When you work, you'll get the skills, but not the knowledge. I'm not really clear on how this makes. I don't, I'm not really clear on how this makes getting a job after school a better option. You learn the skills. But how does it make it better than going to university and then getting a job? So I'm not sure exactly how. So what you're talking about when you go to university, you get the knowledge. So what you're saying is you learn all the knowledge, but you, will, you wouldn't get that from, from, from working straight away. Um, I'm not sure. I'm not sure. Like, how is that making the job better? I'm not sure. I don't understand completely how that's better. Okay, and then at the end you said you think that studying is better, but we're we don't really we're not going to decide on our opinion yet. What I want to do is I want to find the ideas first. And if I can think of two ideas for the first view, then I'll say that that's my opinion. If I think of two ideas for the second view, then I'll say that that's my opinion. So I'm not I'm not going to say what my opinion is yet. I'm going to wait, look at the ideas first, and I'm going to decide on my opinion based on the ideas that I think of. I I don't really, I'm not concerned about my real opinion. My real opinion isn't what I'm going to put in the essay. It's whichever ideas I think of first, that's what that's going to decide what I say. Hasnain, hi to you. Many individuals believe that higher studies is the easiest way to get success in a career. Good. Uh, make sure you start with a capital letter as well. There. Hafiza. In the first sentence of the introduction, why don't use some people? Why just some think? Same thing, same meaning. Some people think, some think it's the same meaning. Um, so either one is fine. But in the question, it said some people. So we're trying to, you know, we're trying to paraphrase. We're trying to not repeat the same vocab. So we'll we'll swap it around a bit. Getting higher education or skills provide more options. Okay. So they will have more options in their careers. Yep, that makes sense. Good. 
Dimitri, studying at university gives you credentials which are necessary to be successful. Good. Working instead of learning at uni leads to practical skills which are even better than a diploma. Mm. You see, the thing is, like, after I go to university and I start working, I learn those skills as well. So why, why would it be better for me to start working earlier? It's not that I go to university and then I never work. It's I go to university, I learn what I learned there, and then I start working. So whatever skills the person learns, if they go straight after school, the person who studies first, they will also learn those skills because they're going to be working. So why is it better for me to start working here instead of university, instead of doing university and start working here? So the thing is, the, the people who go to university will also learn practical skills, just not until after university, not until after they've completed their studies. So the difference here, I'm not, again, so it's the same thing that I was saying, um, uh, same thing that I was saying with Vince back here, it's like, why, they're both going to learn the skills. Just the second group of people are going to learn those skills earlier than the second group of people. Or the first group of people are going to learn them later than the first group of people, second group of people. So I don't really, I don't see this as being a direct response. Um, leads to practical skills. No, but they, they'll all have the practical skills. So I, I, we need something else. Hi, Curti. Higher education helps in gaining knowledge to perform a particular job. Good. Lewis, because they provide training in specific areas to equip students with the necessary skills to achieve success in their jobs. Yeah, perfect. Good. Hassam, the former prefer studies because these studies will give them more advantages to their candidates who apply for some jobs. Good. Yeah, they'll have more advantages over the other. But again, why will they have advantages? Well, because they acquired valuable knowledge. So I think we're coming back to the same point again. Working right after school enables people to develop some skills. True. But like I said, so does the people. The people that go to university will also develop those skills once they start working. So they're they're all going to have the skills. Why is it better to start working earlier? Um, spending too many hours studying at university studying irrelevant subjects may not contribute much to your future career. Okay. So again, what I'm kind of, this, this idea doesn't really suit me either. Like what we're not really, what we're not really thinking about is the best, it's the best way to achieve success. It's the best way to achieve success. So what you what what most of you are doing here is you're saying, why is it better to get a job after school? You're just telling me what happens when you get a job straight after school. But you're not telling me why it's better to get a job straight after school. Why is this? Why is doing this better than going to university? So, you know, you're saying they, they will learn skills. But why does that make it better than going to university? Like what we're implying with our first idea, we're saying that they can't acquire valuable knowledge. Right. They can't acquire the, the, the people who go to university, they'll acquire this valuable knowledge that the people who go to work will not acquire. So I get that. It's these people are in university. They'll get the knowledge. The people who go to work, they'll not get the knowledge. OK, so that makes sense to me. But then when you're saying the second group of people, they'll get the skills when they go to work. But if we say that, are we trying to say that the people who go to university will never work? I mean, obviously, that's not the case. They go to university and when they finish, they start working as well. So why does it make a difference? So you're not really you're not really at the moment with the ideas you've shared with me so far. You're not you're not weighing up the two different options. You're saying, why is this going to to work straight away better than studying before you go to work? Like those are the two options. How is this better than this? And you're saying you learn skills, but how is that better? How is that better than studying, getting the knowledge and then working and getting the skills? So you have both of the things instead of only the skills. So at the moment, you're you're thinking too superficially about it. You have to think more practically, like what's happening in the real world? We have two people, one studies straight away. Sorry, one studies and then goes to work. One starts working straight away. Like in what way 
is this person more likely to achieve success in their career? What advantage does this person have? And at the moment, I'm not really seeing any suitable ideas. So uh, we'll just we'll stay we'll stay going with it for a while. Um, if we don't find any ideas uh, soon, I'll 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 give you my my input. Hi, Sakawat. Um, can I use this statement and thesis statement in this essay? I will discuss both these sides and provide my overall opinion. You can, yeah. Oh, actually, no. You need to include your opinion. You must. Uh, you you won't be able to get a band seven for task achievement if you don't say what your opinion is in the introduction. So you can say like in this essay, I will discuss both views and explain why I believe that, you know, it's better to go to university or whatever you want to say your opinion is. Uh, but definitely you have to give your opinion in the introduction. Very, very important. I like to put my main ideas in the introduction because I feel it's stronger for your coherence and cohesion score, especially if you want a higher score. Um, but yeah, that's another way to do it. The way you've described is fine. Time, less time is spent. Time, I think time, we're getting warmer there. Definitely time is going to be something to do with um, something to do with it. People start, start to gain valuable work experience as soon as they graduate from high school. Okay. So now we're getting there. We're starting to talk about time. So the difference being they have an extra four years working. So if two people, they finish school at 18, by the time the first person is goes to university and reaches 22, the second person has already been working for four years. So why is that? Why is that better than studying? So we're getting close. We haven't really got an idea yet, but we're definitely getting close. Well, that or think getting a job immediately is better because they want to earn money as soon as possible. No, because it's not about earning money as soon as possible. It's about achieving a successful career. So I might get a little bit of money in the first four years, but that doesn't necessarily mean I'm going to be more successful in my career. So achieving success and getting a little bit of money when I start or, you know, it doesn't have to be a little bit, but, you know, the money that I'm getting in those first four years, how does that contribute to my success? In what way will that help me be successful in my career? So at the moment, it's just like, I want money. I want money now. That sounds like what you're saying. But it's not, I want money now because it will lead to my success in the future. So at the moment, it doesn't seem like we're talking about success. So that isn't suitable either. Can gaining practical experience and earning money right away? So again, how is that resulting in 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 success? Um, I still feel like we need to address this more directly. Mandeep, some individuals think that studying at university or college is the best method to achieve a better career, whereas others think that it is better to get a job directly after school, directly after finishing school. We'll say um, it's not necessarily a better career; it's a successful career, a successful career. Um, so that paraphrase and then just be careful spelling of individual. You need a capital letter for uh, some. You need a comma before, whereas not a full stop and you need no comma after, whereas. So punctuation mistakes uh, and a few vocab mistakes there, Mandeep. XIS, because in some fields of expertise, performing manual skills is the most important key to obtaining a higher position. Bam. There we go. We have it. OK. Let me grab that. And now we've clearly stated why this person, the second group of people who didn't go to university, we've described specifically why they are going to have more success because the practical experience is more important. Perfect. Now we know. Now we understand. OK, great. OK, well done, XIX. So I'm going to add that in here because, okay, and I'm not just going to say in some in some fields of expertise, we don't need to we don't need to narrow it down because they feel performing uh, let's say having practical experience.
is the most important key to obtaining success. Okay, great. Now, now we still need to decide what our opinion is, and that'll just depend on what the third idea is. So if, if my third idea is for the former, then I'll say that's my opinion. If my third idea is for the latter, then I'll say that's my opinion. Okay, so we just need one more idea. I'll stay going through the uh, comments here for now. Um, getting practical skills earlier in one's career leads to them getting promoted earlier. Nice, that's exactly what we're looking for, perfect. Mandeep, although after schooling, students get jobs without wasting many years in study, this essay believes that university and college give more valuable knowledge. Okay, that's fine. Without wasting many years in study. So am I wasting years in study? It's not about wasting years. It's about getting being successful. So if I'm wasting years, then am I being more successful? And if I'm wasting years, why am I wasting years? So that first one is a bit vague as why do, why, why do these people think it's a waste? Why do they think it's a waste? So that point is a bit vague. Time, time. Okay. Uh, look back because now labor market requires more work experience. Excellent. That's exactly it again. Yeah, great getting experience, but again, why is the experience more important? Um, so I wrote down in two paragraphs because of limited writing on YouTube. I know I understand that, Mandeep, that's no problem. That's no problem at all. Sam, the former prefer further studies because hiring managers tends to value high degree candidates. Uh, yes, good, definitely. Um, so that can be my, that can be my, my own opinion, okay. So that's uh, Hassan on YouTube. One second, now I just copy and paste that. Okay, so that can be my opinion. So I believe that the former, I believe that, let's just go with further studies. I believe that further studies is better because hiring managers tend to value candidates with higher education. Okay. Okay, that's a long introduction. Okay, so that is our first paragraph written. It's, it's quite wordy. Um, I don't like how long it is. But that does happen when you know we're collaborating and we're putting all our ideas together. So that that's quite common. But eighty six words is an incredibly long uh, introduction. However, let's move on to the next part of our. Let's move on to the next part of our lesson. So what we're going to have is we're going to have one paragraph for each of our ideas. So we're going to have something like this. Some feel further education is more likely to lead to success because of the valuable knowledge these people gain. Okay, so that's the first sentence of my paragraph. And this paragraph needs to be somewhere around, let's say, um, this paragraph needs to be somewhere around 70 words long. So what I need to do now is I need to figure out how am I going to develop that idea? So obviously, you know, I can talk about explanations, I can talk about examples. So this is the next task that I have for you guys here today. Those ideas took us a long time. So we're not gonna get as far through the essay as we have done in previous lessons, but it's still more important that we stick with this until we get the ideas right. If, if our ideas aren't relevant, even if one of our ideas aren't is irrelevant, we're gonna end up with a band five. If all our ideas are irrelevant, we're gonna end up with a band four for task achievement. So it's you know sticking with it until we find the appropriate ideas is very important. And a big problem we saw today was people not really comparing like with like. You know, why is it better to start earlier? 
these people are going to start working, but they're not going to start as early. So that was the difference, starting earlier versus starting uh, later. Um, so it took you guys a while to get here. And I can see why um, I can see why the student shared this question with me, because it does seem like a question that you guys are struggling with. Anyway, so back to the lesson. The next task, how can we develop this idea? So how can we develop that first idea um, here? The valuable knowledge these people gain. So how are we going to develop this paragraph? So again, in the comments, write down how you would develop it, what explanations you would give, what examples you would give. Uh, share it with me in the comments, and then I'll have feedback for you there as well. Okay. Has name getting experience starting your success journey. So again, that doesn't really lead to why not going to university is better. So it, it's a bit vague at the moment. Why is what experience? How is it better? So what we need to do is to be able to show why those people have four more years of experience how that's better than four years of knowledge. So that's what we need to address. Well, look back, because studying university costs more expense for many people, so is that going to stop them from reaching, a, having a successful career? So if I invest more money in my education, how is that going to stop me from having a successful career? You know, so that part, that part isn't clear. I don't understand how that means my career will suffer. I, I understand that my bank account is going to suffer. Absolutely, I understand that part, but not why my career is suffering. Hafiza, employers value experience and can provide on the job training that makes an individual a valuable asset to any career. But, but again, you know, the other people are going to start work as well. They're going to get that same experience that you're talking about. So we need to make it clearer. Why is that? In what way is that? Um, where am I? Sorry. In what way is this better than studying at university? And that, that comparison isn't clear. It's You're describing what happens when you get a job straight after school, but you're not explaining why getting a job straight after school is better than going to university first. So you're not making a comparison between those two things, and that's why the idea isn't appropriate. Uh, Curtly, people working after secondary education get experience, have more opportunities to get a professional job. Wh why? Why do they have more opportunities? So at the moment, this idea is vague. I don't know why you think that. So you're just saying it's better. Why is it better? You're saying oh, it's better because it's better. But why? Why exactly? Why do they have more opportunities? How does that happen? Why does that happen? Saka, what, sir? I would like to use main idea in details in body paragraph, but you're putting ideas in introduction. Will this cause any problems? No, absolutely not. No, no. But it's just, it's, it's different styles, like different teacher will give you a different structure. This is the structure I like. You tie all your essay together completely. There's really strong connection between each paragraph when you do it this way. Um, no, it's, it's it, the, doing it the other way is also acceptable. I'm just showing you the way that I like to do it. That, that's all. Getting experience, starting journey towards success. Again, too vague, too vague still. Mandeep, although after schooling students get easily those jobs which need practical knowledge more rather than theory, this essay believes that university and college education gives students valuable knowledge. Um, so the language, there's some mistakes with the, the vocab and grammar here. Although after schooling students, so after schooling students, that's not, that's not a, a, a phrase, although after schooling students. So take your time just to write it out clearly and always put yourself in the position of the reader. Is the reader going to know what after schooling students are? Um, just, just take the time, you know, although students who get school, students who get work straight after school, students who get work immediately after school, whatever way you want to say it, but just take your time to, to, to include all the information. Get easily those jobs would be get those jobs easily, easily at the end. 
um and it's not clear what those jobs are and that's why you come along and say which need practical knowledge but that should go into the jobs the description of jobs so although students who get jobs straight after school although students who get jobs straight after school will easily get the jobs which need practical knowledge more than theory so there that's the way you want to phrase it okay um vince universities provide a huge range of resources to students thus preparing them to future work lessons experiment experiments different projects which people learn how to work how to overcome difficulties this youtube limit is getting on my nerves you can pop over to facebook as well um this this live stream is on youtube and on facebook and there isn't any uh limit to the comments to the length of the comments on facebook so if you want to pop over to facebook it's the same same name just go to facebook and go complete test success um you'll find it there um so far looking at this here you're listing too many things i know you're not finished so you might bring it back to the the topic but based on what you're saying so far what i would worry about here is that you're not making the connection to why it's better so what we want to do isn't so much explain how not so much explain what happens in university but explain how the extra knowledge leads to a successful career so i think you're focusing too much on what happens at university or how they gain knowledge at university but that's not what i need to know i don't need to know what's happening at university i need to know why the extra knowledge that they learn at university results in more likelihood more more possibilities of having a successful career so it seems like you're not focusing on the right thing and like you said the comments on youtube are a bit short so maybe you were getting there but it doesn't look like you were based on what you've written here um so that that you know to keep that keep it focused on the topic of the question is important that is to say that university students attend lectures, seminars, and workshops and gain knowledge of a particular subject, which enables them to develop certain skills to perform and a job. So this looks like we're on track here, Curti. Yeah. So now you're talking, you're bringing it back to, you know, performing the job. And in the next sentence, we would need to address how that makes them more likely to achieve success. Okay. Universities are better because of theoretical and quantitative knowledge which can be used in real situations. Okay. By okay, I mean, yes, that's acceptable. Um, sir, how can I get a high score for CNC? Please give us the best example, eight or nine level for all. Like body paragraph, one second, conclusion. So coherence and cohesion, it's about a few different things. So it's about the organization of your paragraphs like the way that I'm putting the paraphrase first, the way that I'm explaining what ideas I'm going to discuss in my essay, using words like what we have, whereas, the former, the latter, while, uh, because, and, anything like that. Um, so cohesive devices, referencing pronouns, um, logical organization, clearly telling the reader what you're talking about. Like in the first sentence, I'm telling you clearly which of the views I'm referring to. Instead of just writing down valuable knowledge, I'm clearly stating, you know, what exactly are we talking about here? All that stuff is, is coherence and cohesion. Don't have Facebook. I'm afraid I can't help you with that one, Vince. On the one hand, some people believe that university and college education give more valuable knowledge. This is because in university and college, teachers are professionals and have much knowledge. So again, it's not about why or how they gain the knowledge. So, you know, and this is something that happens a lot where people, when they're writing about their, um, when they're writing about their main idea, they just start talking about the main idea and they forget what the topic of the question is. 
So we're still talking about university or college being the best way to achieve success. So when we go to develop this idea, we have to show how is the extra knowledge creating the best way to achieve success. So if we're not talking about achieving success, if we're not, if we don't continue talking about what the question is about in our body paragraph, in our development, well, then it's not relevant. So just talking about our main idea isn't enough. It has to be talking about how our main idea is connected to the topic of the essay, to the, the topic of the question. So that's really, really, really important that we continue to refer to the that we continue to discuss the question in our development, not just discuss our idea. For example, students pursuing accounting courses learn all the aspects of accounting, such as bookkeeping, which makes them prepare to work as an accountant. OK, but how, how does that make them more likely to achieve success? So, you know, they learn how to be an accountant and they can be an accountant, but are they going to be a successful accountant? So, again, we need to make sure we're focused on the topic. Particular knowledge like pharmacy or engineering can't be obtained outside university because they require resources and experts to teach these subjects. Hmm. Right. So you can't be successful at pharmacy because you're not going to learn how to do it anywhere else. There's no choice. OK, yeah, that makes sense. Good. So this works. This is suitable. Good. Um, just to let you guys know, I have um, I have a I have a, a lesson coming up on the hour. Well, it depends where you are in 14 minutes. So it doesn't look like we're going to finish this essay today. But the thing is, every mistake you make is something that we can learn from. So I'm not overly worried about finishing the essay, but I would like to see more responses like this where we're actually addressing how it leads to success. So that's that's what I think that's what I think we're we're, we're missing at the moment. I might even just write the the rest of the paragraph myself just to give you a, a clearer idea of that. Um, Sakuad, sir, I want to write body paragraph like this, but put my main idea and details in this body that I said before. Any problem if I write like this, body one, generally speaking, there are any many reasons why people feel that the best path to achieve a reliable career after university or college degree. Indeed, the main reason why people are in favor of this idea is because. Um, no, because you see, the development of your idea is what gets you from a band six up to a band seven. And then more development is what gets you from a band seven to a band eight. So you've used one sentence of your paragraph just to kind of introduce it. And now there's less sentences for development. So you have nothing really happening in the first sentence, the idea in the second sentence, and then a bit of development after that. But what we want is main idea in the first sentence, some development to bring us to a seven, more development to bring us to an eight. So that's what we're looking for is the development to bring up our task achievement score rather than uh, sentences that don't really help us with that. Because they can acquire valuable knowledge, nowadays universities usually update their curriculums with the latest trends in each field of study. This will benefit students with more knowledge. Again, so we don't want to talk about how universities teach or how the, where the knowledge comes from, or like it's how the knowledge results in successful career. That's what we want. We want to see the connection between those two things. For example, my closest friend went to medical school after finishing high school, and now he's one of the most well-known surgeons in my country. Mm. I mean, no. No, it's not, because how are you going to, I mean, nobody can be a surgeon without going to university, like doctors, surgeons, like medical professionals, they need to go to, they need to study, you know, you can't just, you know, 
buy the equipment at the shop and start doing it at your house. You know, like it's not that, it's not that kind of career, but it's the success. It's it's about the success. So like, we can't really compare a doctor who went to university and a doctor who didn't go to university. Do you know? Um, so it's not it's not necessarily going to be the same career. It's not necessarily going to be the same career either. But like, let's say, like, what kind of career would you have if you didn't go to university? You know, like maybe you became a a photographer maybe you became a mechanic maybe you be, you you know maybe you got into construction maybe you got into some some type of car building cars or you know it, so we're achieve, it's with achieving success within your own field it's not achieving success in somebody else's field so no no that won't work Okay, guys, I'm kind of running out of time, so I'm actually just going to rush through the last few comments because I do want everyone to get feedback. Uh, which is good for students who want to get high-paid jobs and achieve their goals? So on the one hand, some people believe that universities... Are... Oh, yeah, that's okay. Yeah, so that's still the paraphrase. That's fine. Universities are better because they make high network with skilled people and popular organizations. I like it. So you can network. Very good. Very, very good. Yeah, that's a great idea. And to be honest, an easier idea to develop than the one that we're developing right now. Can give IELTS in a week? Uh, I mean, uh, some students, some students have, yeah. I've helped students get their scores in less than a week. But, I mean, your English would need to be really, really, really good already. Um, if you're coming in to the IELTS test with a level of English lower than what's required for your score, the answer is no. If you already have the level of English you need and you just need to figure out how to do the IELTS test in the way that IELTS needs you to do it, in the way that's required for a high score, then yes. Um, so it depends. It depends. But for most people, the answer is no, to be honest. For example, in India, students who complete their higher education have successful careers compared to what those who have just a secondary edu education. Yes, but is this an example of why? Not really. So we're trying to say it's because they have more knowledge. So it's not a, it's not an example of somebody having knowledge. It's an exa just an example of this is what happens. So it doesn't really it doesn't really support our idea. It just supports the view but not why we believe that view is correct. So that doesn't work either. University studies provide important knowledge necessary to lead students to professional success. But why? Why, why, why is it necessary? So this idea is vague. You're just saying, you know, it's basically what our main idea is already, but now, now we need to explain it. Like why, why does that knowledge lead to success uh, more than people who don't? This is because universities not only provide know-how, but also expose students to universal knowledge gained from years of experience by workers from around the world. Okay, this is starting off very well, yeah. So this is starting off well, so you're kind of building up to why that makes the knowledge more, uh, more likely to result in a successful career. So I like this. This is going in the right direction, but we still haven't made the connection with the successful career. OK, this is the last comment and I do have to go. Like I said, I have another lesson now um, after this. So this is going to be the last comment I look at today, guys. In the discuss both views question type, do I have to get in those people's shoes or should I separate myself by using expressions like those who believe? Um, you have to discuss both views individually. So you don't say like if if I'm up here and I say, if I say, I feel further education is more likely to lead to success. If I'm not discussing the, the group of people in the question, well, then I'm not discussing both views. I'm making it about my opinion. So discussing both views has to be separate from your opinion. So don't, don't make it about you. Talk about those people first. And even if you agree with them, you'll talk about that later. So yeah, you have to keep it separate. Okay. Um, so basically what we're missing from here, we haven't been able to develop this idea really all that well. Okay, so what we're saying is the knowledge 
that is required. So maybe the easiest thing to do is say, say something along the lines of how people, people who have the type of career that you would have without a tertiary education is unlikely to reach a high level of success. And then we, what we can do is we can talk about the types of jobs. So you would say like most jobs that have most jobs that don't require an education don't have a career ladder so that you can get in on the ground, but you will stay at that same position. Even if you get better at your job, you might get slightly better pay. But in general, jobs that don't require an education don't have a career path where you can climb the ladder and get lots of promotions. So I would be more likely to talk about that, you know, and then like maybe use maybe use like a, a mechanic as an example. So if you start off your career as a mechanic and you learn how to fix cars and you're excellent at fixing cars, you know, it the better you get, you might get a better, you might get better pay, you might be able to start your own business, you might be able to do this and that. But in general, if you go into a company and you learn how to be a mechanic, that's your job forever. You're not going to get you know, they're, you're not going to get promotions. You're not going to get, you're you're not going to climb to to higher status. Where like, you know, if somebody becomes a doctor and then they can move on to be like, you know, they can they can climb up and become more specialized and become an expert in that field. And you know, you can go higher and higher. And then you're, you, you know, you, you you can you can oversee the hospital and all that type of stuff. So that's more what I would be more likely to focus on is that is that jobs without. And without jobs that don't require uh, an education, don't necessarily have a, a very big career path, don't have a, a career ladder. That's what I would be more likely to focus on for this question. Um, OK, so like I said, I do have to go. I have another lesson. So, yeah, that's it for today. Um, I'm taking a bit of time off over Christmas. Christmas is soon, next week, start of next week. Um, so I'm going to take a little bit of time off uh, to spend with my family. So I'll be back about probably about another two weeks and I'll, I'll come back and I'll do more live streams after that. Um, OK, very welcome. Very welcome. Talk to you next time. Take care.